All Blacks coach Hansen ran out of patience after a French journalist suggested the hosts should put a Dave Gallagher trophy up for grabs in the final test in Dunedin. On Saturday, the proposal was made in the wake of perceived injustices in both the first two tests as New Zealand secured the silverware with a game to spare. While Hansen didn't deny his team had received the rub of the green, he said France were doing themselves no favours by dwelling on negatives. He referred to last year's drawn series between the All Blacks and British and Irish Lions when a contentious non-penalty ruling in the final minute left the deciding test locked 15 to 15, you go back 12 months and I could sit here and squeal about the two but it's pointless, isn't it, Hansen? Said, you can talk about any series and say that. That's the way rugby is. France were competitive in the 52-11 first test loss in Auckland until two pivotal incidents. Paul Gabriags was shown a dubious yellow card before French teammate Remy Grosso suffered a tour ending. Head injury in a collision which resulted in nothing more than a penalty despite high contact from two All Blacks forwards. The 26-13 loss in Wellington last week was dominated by the early red card shown to Benjamin Fall, despite the French fullback showing no intent to injure when he collided with leaping New Zealand 5-8 Bowden Barrett. France's Kiwi, born prop UINI Antonio this week summed up the frustrated mood as the tourists limp to the end of another marathon season, I don't want to be a crybaby or anything, but it's just not fair. Antonio said, it's always going to be like the Bacows. The All Blacks are the best and if you want to beat them, then you have to beat them 15 against 16. That's the only way we can beat them.